In this video today, I'll be talking to you about something very close to my heart, and it is jaundice. If you've heard about jaundice before, kindly let me know what you know about jaundice in the comment section. If you're new here, welcome. Do consider subscribing, it is free and it helps my channel out. And also consider liking this video, giving this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment, whatever comment you want to, leave me a comment about jaundice. I have seen a baby die due to complication of jaundice. And I've heard stories of babies having convulsion, which leads to complication later on as they're growing up. One thing that really struck me on the day I witnessed a mom lose a child due to jaundice is that the mom kept saying, I do not know. That she did not know the signs, she did not know the symptoms, and that's why what happened, happened. I ask that you would like this video, that you comment on this video, and that you subscribe if you haven't, because this tells YouTube to share this video to more people. And I would even appreciate if you share this video on your social media pages and tag me so that I can repost. Um, you can also share on your WhatsApp, um, Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media you're on, on groups that you're on, because you can literally be saving a life. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here since day one and come with me before we eat an 100K, 100K, wow, amen. I speak that into existence. Before we reach 1K subscriber, Thank you so much for always coming back. You know I give value here, valuable information about pregnancy, labor, childbirth, fertility, which is a new series I started, about newborn, which is something I'm talking about today. And also, if you're expecting a baby or you know someone that is expecting a baby, that is currently pregnant, that is preparing for labor and birth, I teach a childbirth class course online and i would love to work with you so if you're interested in this course online it's a one-to-one -one course if you like it to be a group one as well it is possible i also do a coaching session for you and your husband to prep you for labor and birth when you're prepped you feel more empowered and ready for the day of your baby coming and of course also postpartum when your baby is with you. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and book me on Instagram. My handle will be up here and send me a DM. I would love to work with you. My name is Victoria and I'm a midwife, childbirth educator, birth coach and also a doula. I love everything pregnancy, labor, childbirth, postpartum, motherhood, parenting, and all the things in between. If this is something you're interested in, make sure you like this channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, it is free, and make sure you share this channel with your friends and family and loved ones, especially those that are expecting a baby. All right, let's get started. What causes jaundice? Too much bilirubin in a baby's blood causes jaundice. What is bilirubin? Bilirubin is the byproduct, which just means it is what is produced when red blood cell is broken down. The function of the liver is to get rid of bilirubin. And when your baby is born, the liver is not very mature for it to do this work fast. We have pathology jaundice. This is when a baby has a jaundice from the day they are born, and that is not okay. It means there is a reason why they are having it, and that needs to be investigated. We also have physiological jaundice. Physiological jaundice is normal for a baby to have it because their liver is not yet mature, and there's just too much work for the liver to do as it's breaking down red blood cell which the byproduct of it is bilirubin, right? 
And so when you see jaundice in your baby from like day two, day three, that's kind of normal because your baby's liver is trying to get rid of it. What are the symptoms of jaundice? The two big symptoms of jaundice are yellowish of the eye and yellowish of the skin. And if you don't get anything from this video, I want you to remember this. Yellowish of the eye and yellowish of the skin. If you see this, go to the hospital, call your doctor, call your midwife, call your nurse, call your healthcare provider, because it means your baby has jaundice. Why am I sharing this? With the story I started with, when the doctor asked the mom, don't you see your baby had jaundice? Cause it was very obvious. The eye of that baby was so yellow and the skin was so yellow. She was a first time mom and she said, I do not know, I just did not know. And she was breaking down. And that really broke my heart that if you don't know something, you do not know this and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's why I'm making this video today. And I'm imploring you, yes, you, to please share this video. Share this video with your loved ones. Share this video on your social media pages. Share this video wherever you can. You can just be saving a life. And please let us save a life together by just spreading the word because it's, maybe I'm a healthcare professional and I know this, but this information is not readily available. And these are some of the things you might learn in a childbirth education class. And if you don't know, you just don't know. So please remember, two big things, signs and symptoms of jaundice is what? Yes, you got a yellowish of the eye and yellowish of the skin. So what can be done if your baby has physiological jaundice? Remember I said jaundice is not actually life-threatening unless you don't know the signs and symptoms and you're not doing something about it things you can do about jaundice is number one feed your baby often yes feed your baby often because as you feed them it helps them pee and pull and they actually we pull the jaundice out of their system yep and that's when you start to see those yellowing um, poop, they're pulling it out. So if you see your baby starting to get yellow, start feeding them very often, as often as every two hours, every two to three hours, start feeding your baby. Another thing you can do is to expose your baby to sunlight. Help sunlight, vitamin D. Sunlight helps your baby baby break down bilirubin from their body. Of course, you want to leave them on a diaper, you want to cover their eyes so the sun, too much sun in their eye is not good, right? You, you obviously cannot be just staring at a bright light. That's not good for your eye. Like I'm doing right now, I'm staring at this, my source of light. <laughs> so no, too much light is not good. So make sure you cover their eyes with something and of course wear them a diaper so they don't pull and pee. <laughs> like on the floor, you know, or on the bed, wherever you're laying them. And I want you to remember this. The more skin you show, the better. The more skin exposure, the more part of their body you show, you reveal, you let be in the sun, the better the sun would help break down the bilirubin. Now, if the bilirubin does not go away, if the jaundice does not go away and you're doing this stuff, the other things that can be done, if you're in a Western country, you could get a billy light or a billy blanket and some insurance will even cover for your hospital to give them to you. If you're here in Africa, you might not have that option. And what can be done is take your baby to the hospital and a test can be done that actually tests their blood of how much bilirubin is there. If it's high, they'll probably tell you. If your baby's blood is tested and they see that the bilirubin level is high in the hospital, they will probably have your baby go through phototherapy. Phototherapy is basically putting your baby under this blue light 
It will help break down like sunlight and vitamin D, which is the same thing, right? Break down the bilirubin in their blood. If the bilirubin levels are too much in the baby's body, they could actually transfuse the baby, take out the whole blood and put in a whole new blood of a donor um, into your baby's body. If you've experienced jaundice with your baby before, please go ahead and share your experience in the comment section. I'll be reading every one of it and I'll be liking and commenting. You might just be helping a woman or family out there. I've heard of some myth about jaundice. The first one I heard about is if you wear a yellow cloth on your baby, that your baby could get jaundice. Medically, I don't see a connection there. I don't see how a yellowish color cloth can bleach into your baby's body and make them have jaundice. What causes jaundice is too much bilirubin in your baby's blood. And bilirubin is the byproduct of red blood cell. As red blood cell is breaking down, it produces bilirubin. And if it's not flushed away quickly from your baby's body, it gets high, then your baby gets that color, the yellowish color in their skin and in their eye. This is what causes jaundice. If there are other myths about jaundice that you know of, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. This brings me to the end of the video today. If this video has been valuable to you, if you've learned something, let me know in the comment sections. Leave me as much comment as possible. I love to read your comment. I love to engage with you. And do not forget to share this video. This help other moms, other families to know. And I hope and pray that no mom, no family experiences losing a baby to jaundice. Because now we all know what causes jaundice, the signs of jaundice, and what you can do about it. Until next time, remain blessed and see you in my next video. God bless. God, I pray that you bless my viewers and the moms and dads and that this video will bring value to everyone. Amen. Amen.